thank you for joining me. I'm actually going around my garden again, but this time I'm going to go in on individual plants, something I've not done before. Just to look at the beautiful colours. The yellows through to orange and the reds of the little stems. I don't know what this plant is, it's self-seeded, but it's a lovely pop of colour. And I have sorted this wall out and planted some spring flowers there. So round we come here. <laughs> I have to show you that. When I brush my cat, I put bits of fur out in the bird feeders so that they can use it for their nests, if they so choose. Right, down on my knees. This is when a neighbour comes past and checks I'm all right. I love these colours of spring. These primulas that I got from the garden centre a few days ago. Looking gorgeous. tulip in this pot. The others are still in bud. And the stellata. Mm, quite a few of the flowers are past the prime but it seems to be coming out in stages. So there always seems to be a few that are looking beautiful. and the little grape hyacinths. <laughs> Over we go. The prickly pear is in leaf. On the broom. It smells divine. Let's get some of these flowers down so you can see those close to. Insignificant on their own. But each of those little flowers is adding to the, the scent. As well as the the look of that shrub. Oh, and here we have some buds on the prickly pear. Notice a dearth of names. Can we focus? And the wonderful magnolia being battered by the winds and the rains. At least there hasn't been a frost. But I love the, the colouring when they're in bud. And then I'm looking for an easily reachable flower that's in a nice condition. Oh dear, they have suffered with the rain. If I just move that petal back, we can see down into the centre. It's wanting to keep closed. I don't blame it. I really don't. And I don't know whether
whether it's my imagination, but I think that the lawn actually looks to be greening up a little bit. I did give it its first feed, just a light snack. <laughs> I diluted the lawn feed so I didn't give it indigestion. <laughs> and this shrub. I love it. It is planted in an old chimney pot which has disintegrated around it. So I've just wired it up so that it offers protection still. And it keeps on keeping on, so I think we're all right. But this magnolia tree, it flowers here, and then there's another broom that's still to come into flower. The camellia almost finished. There's still Magnolia, it's the same tree. I left that sideways branch to fill the gap that this tree left when it died. The stump remains. But the tree is no longer a living being. Here we have another cluster of little flowers swaying in the wind with the new leaves coming through this beautiful pink shade. And I've revamped this little corner it was just wood, but the wood has gone rotten, so I've cleared most of it out and put planters in there to give some colour. And I moved the old bird table there with my little statuette on the top. The three dragonflies. They will be repainted shortly. <laughs> Had fun and games. I bought those, well six of them at a, an RHS garden show at Tatton. And they, they're on long spikes. Carrying them through the crowd back to the car was interesting, but I managed not to lacerate anybody and the convoluted hazel. The leaves are just beginning to pop. There's some little catkins too. I need to sort this clematis out and get it growing up the stump rather than into the convoluted hazel. So there we are. Ooh, I miss those. The laurel flowers.
say cheerio for now and get on with my daily tasks. Oh no, one of the bird feeders is down. <laughs> they need topping up anyway, so saves me reaching. Thank you for joining me. Take care. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.